Hello again, in this video we will do a bouncing ball like this one. The main steps for doing these are, first we create the main window, then we create the canvas and the ball and finally we move the ball. So let's start this, first we want to import T Kinter. from T Kinter, we want to import everything. Next we want to make an object of T Kinter. so TK is equals to TK and this TK is in uppercase. We want to give the window a title it will be Altec bouncing ball and also we want to change the resizable property of the window to be false for the horizontal and the vertical way. With this we have the main window. Next let's create the canvas and the ball. First we need a width and a height for our window. Let's set the width with 400 and the height with 300. Then we declare a canvas that is equals to canvas with uppercase we provide the TK object, we provide the width and we provide the height. Next we need to call the method pack to group the elements in the canvas. Then let's declare the ball. So our ball is equals to canvas dot create oval. We provide the X and Y position for the starting point. We provide the X and Y position for the ending point. And finally we provide a color for our ball. The next step is move the ball. Let me go a little down so we can see everything here. First we declare a X speed and a Y speed for the movement of the ball. Then we declare a move ball function. Inside of this function we type canvas dot move and what we want to move. We want to move the ball. And what is the speed for our ball? It is X speed for the X axis and Y speed for the Y axis. The next thing that we have to do is check if our ball is inside of the window. So we need to get the coordinates of our ball. The left position, the top position, the right position and finally the bottom position are equals to canvas.coordinates of our ball. This method will return a tuple with four fields. One for the left position, another for the top position, another for the right and finally for for the bottom position. Let's check if it is outside of our window. If the left position of our ball have a value less or equals to zero, it means that the ball is outside of the window. Also, if the right position is bigger or equals to the width of our window, the ball is outside. So in this case, we want to change the X speed to be minus X speed. As you may guess, we must do the same thing for the Y coordinates. So if the top position is less or equals to zero or the bottom position is bigger or equals to the height of the window we want to reverse the Y speed. And the final instruction for this will be canvas dot after 30 milliseconds we want to move the ball again. What this special instruction do is 30 milliseconds after executing this instruction the function move ball will be executed executed by a new thread. Ok, next and already outside of our move ball function we need to start this loop. We do again canvas dot after and we provide the 30 milliseconds and the move ball function. So a new thread will execute this. The final instruction for all of these to work is tk dot main loop. With this we are saying to the main thread to show the window. Ok, with this let's open the terminal and execute this. Whoa, and we got this error. Local variable x speed referenced before assignment. Let's try to understand this. First the main thread loads the x speed and the y speed with the value tree. Then it loads the move ball function. After this instruction it goes to a very very special instruction where we call canvas dot after we provide the number 30 and the function move ball. What this means? This means that the main thread is requesting the execution of move ball function in the next 30 milliseconds. So 30 milliseconds after executing this instruction the function move ball can be be executed. Then it goes to the next very special instruction, tk.mainloop. This is what makes the window appear and this is a blocking operation, which means that the main thread will be working
working on the main loop until we close the window our application okay so if the main thread is busy who will execute the move ball function and the solution is a new thread is created this new thread starts loading the move ball function and then it goes to the next instruction but it doesn't know what is x speed and y speed because it started after this line of code so this is why we get this error local variable x speed reference before assignment now that we know why this is not working move the ball we must let's go here and to correct the problem we just need to declare here a global x speed and a y speed so with this the new thread will access the x speed and the y speed correctly let's run this open the terminal and execute and our ball is working if you find this video helpful please leave a like share with your friends leave a comment subscribe and hit the bell button because it's the way to help me back growing this channel okay and as always thank you for watching